So we're going to go ahead and power this on and see what happens. Okay. So we're going to initially try to uh, get the robot under control here. I can. First thing I notice is this server right here is not giving me a lot of motion. But keep working here. Okay. So we've got a stable state right now. We're standing, and we're gonna. First thing, the most important thing that I'm interested in is to see how these new joints work right here. So watch the ankles. Okay. Now let's see the robot will rock back and forth. Okay, right there. That position is what Model 1 was unable to do, and that is to put all the weight onto one leg. So, let's see if we can rock back and forth to the other leg. back to center and get our stable base back. Okay. Now we're going to test the remaining servos. Uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to see if we're getting, if we need to work on any servos. So there's three and four, those are the ankles. Now we're going to test five and six, these are the back knees, and the robot should come up a little bit. And we're not getting any any movement from those servos. And we're going to try the hips. And the hips are working. Okay, so the, um, the four servos that we're having trouble with right now is three and four, five and six. And these are also the servos that support the weight of the robot. So we're going to have to work on that. This is the current state of Model 2, and what was successful on the initial power-up was the ability of the robot to come over, put all the weight on this leg, put all the weight on this leg, and remain stable, and rock back and forth. So that was a successful initial power-up.